Well, yeah, it's sourced. I mean, it says distilled wherever and then bottled wherever by whoever. It's not like it's some big secret. It's sourced. Just tell us already. Hey, yo, howdy. Welcome. September 6th. We are moving right along. We're on day six, bottle six. 25 days of bourbon. Ooh. So, you guys enjoying this? Not enjoying this? Like the videos? Don't like the videos? Comments. They seem to help. Just saying. Hope everybody's doing well on this uh, first day back to work for most folks, which is Tuesday instead of a Monday. So, yeah, not bad. Hmm. It's kind of got a light light sweetness to it. Hmm. Not quite sure exactly what it is, but uh, definitely a sweetness. Let's just get to tasting, y'all. Cheers. Well, that brought the heat. Still bringing the heat. <laughs> and that was one powerful kick of pepper. Still kind of dancing on the tongue. Felt the hug all the way down to here already. Starting to get some like creamy, creamy vanilla caramel notes coming through. But boy, that pepper is, man, that was a flash over and straight down. Uh, didn't take any time at all. And I still feel the trail of heat. Kind of like a comet <laughs> or shooting star, you know, whichever term you want to use. Um, just really fast zipping and kind of leaving that trail behind it. Um, I like it. Um, it'd be nicer if there wasn't so much spice up front because um, it's it's almost overpowering at first. Uh, when you take it in, but it does level off, and then, like I said, it kind of dances, uh, dances around the tongue, maybe around the gums, but yeah, overall, it's it's not bad. Just, whew, that first uh, that first hit was something. So, bottle six, E J. Curly and Company Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, this is the single barrel version of that. It is distilled in Kentucky and bottled by E.J. Curly and Company. So, um, obviously, it's sourced. I can't find any information on mash bills. Um, this one's bottled at 122.2 proof. So, that's where a lot of that pepper is coming from now uh, for those of you that don't know or don't really you know look into to mash bills uh, there's there's quite a few uh, that you'll come across 
when you're trying to find mash bill information that will tell you the mash bill is undisclosed. They don't want to disclose it. I think, and this is pure speculation on my part, but I think it has something to do when they're sourcing, such as this one is, um, that uh, they they have to sign a, a non-disclosure agreement. They're not supposed to, a lot of them are not supposed to say where they source from. Um, so they hide the mash bill because if they say it's a Kentucky straight bourbon, you know it's coming from Kentucky. And um, if if you can track that mash bill down, you kind of have an idea. I don't I don't understand the whole hidden hoopla uh, part of the business. Uh, if there's anybody out there that's in the business that would like to sit down and explain that uh, that to me, the whole uh, disclosure agreements and stuff. I mean, does does anybody really care anymore whether it's coming from Heaven Hill, 1792, you know, wherever, Wild Turkey? Um, hey, it, it'd be nice nice to know. You know, why not just say it? We know that you're, you're a new startup. Your product is not ready. We know you're getting it from somewhere, obviously. And with it being Kentucky straight bourbon, it's somewhere in Kentucky. So why not just... Tell us what's what's with the secrecy. I I, I really uh, truly would like to know. Like I said, if there's somebody in the business out there, I'd like to sit down and explain it. Um, that'd be great. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one that uh, that wonders about this. So, all right. So bottle six, y'all. E. J. Curley and Company, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, bottled at 122.2 proof, single barrel product. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the nose, uh, the palate, and taste, and uh, whether it would be something uh, you would go for. I, I actually, even though the, the heat was overpowering, I do like it. And uh, I probably will grab a bottle of this at some point. Um, so, yeah. And being in a single barrel, I know that... Unless I find one from the exact same barrel, it could be a little bit different, especially being that it's a, a source product. So uh, we'll see. Take it how it comes, y'all. That's all you can do, right? Drink what you want. Drink what you like. All right. Hope you guys have a great night. See you back tomorrow for Day 7, Bottle 7 on 25 Days of Bourbon. As always, bourbon on y'all.